Foundations no longer work on my skin like they did when I was in my 20s, 30s, or 40s. I found a better way to apply foundation to help it look good all day. I'm testing six drugstore foundation products in this video to tell you which is still going to look good later in the day on my 63 year old skin. Hi, I'm Glory B and this is Glory B TV. I recently did a video where I tested high end foundations reporting to you my results. I also asked viewers to comment about what their favorite high end foundations are and which drugstore foundations they love. I'd still like to know that in this video. Please go ahead and tell me in the comments what your favorite foundations are that work well for your skin. Wearing makeup makes me feel more confident that I look my best. I was a teenager who needed makeup, even at the age of 13. And now I'm a 63 year old who needs to wear some makeup to be ready to go out into the world. It makes me feel good that I know I look so much better. All the foundations I tested for this video come in one ounce bottles or tubes, and they're all listed in the description box below the video. Tap or click the word more to open the description box. If you're using a phone or tablet, you'll tap the word more twice, then scroll through the description box to where it says products shown or mentioned. I'll also list there the current price. None of these foundations that I'm testing today are more than $20. I didn't use primer with any of these foundations. I wanted to see how they did on their own. One of the foundations is medium coverage. The rest are all full coverage. Choosing the right color for drugstore foundations is always a challenge. The good thing is many stores have great return policies, even if you use the foundation. Now for certain, these stores include Ulta and Walgreens. You'll need to ask your favorite store about their return policies to make sure you can return a foundation you've opened and tried out on your skin. First up is the NYX Born to Glow foundation. I have this in the color porcelain, which is more of a winter color for me. I've already been using a self tanner for the face this spring, so this one will look too light on me. I dotted it all over my face, spread it around with my fingers a bit, and then used a slightly damp beauty blender sponge to blend it on most of my face. Then I buffed it out with a flat stipple style brush. This foundation is full coverage and does give the skin a nice glow. Now I did find that it caked a little bit later in the day on the areas to the left and right of my nose. So for me, I call this foundation okay. Next up is the Ulta Complexion Crush Foundation in the color light neutral. This is the only medium coverage foundation I tested. I was going to buy Ulta's full coverage foundation, but they had testers in the store and I couldn't find a color I liked. So I switched to this one. After dotting it on, I went ahead and used the damp beauty blender to apply it. Now I usually only like how the beauty blender works with full coverage foundations as I've experienced the sponge picking up way too much product when it's used on a medium coverage foundation. But I wanted to see how this Ulta product handled the sponge and I have to say it did pretty well. I have to say too, I was impressed with this foundation and like the end result. It has a nice glow to it without being shiny. Later in the day, it was still looking pretty good, especially for a $14 foundation. I'm going to recommend trying it. The great thing is most Ulta stores have testers of this foundation. I usually grab a few colors and go over to a mirror in the store that's closer to a window and actually apply them to my face to choose a color. Next is the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation in the color Medium 10. This comes in a beautiful glass bottle, making it look like and feel like a high-end product. This is the highest priced foundation of my group today in this video at $20. There were also testers at my local Ulta store, so I only bought one color. Now this one looks a little yellow on my skin as I'm dotting it on my face. My face is more pink than my neck, though, and I found if I match a foundation with my face skin color, then it doesn't go well with my neck skin color where I don't put foundation. So I've been aiming to match a color to my neck skin 
so that the face to neck color is more uniform. This Morphe foundation blended out really well with the Beauty Blender and the stipple brush. The finish is more satin, not glowy or matte. This one, however, looked cakey on both sides of my nose later in the day. I call this Morphe foundation okay for my skin. L'Oreal's True Match Super Blendable Foundation in the color N3 Neutral Light Medium was the next product I tested. I had this in the past before they reformulated it. With the new reformulation, which came to market in early 2023, they finally put this product into a pump bottle. It goes on nicely, I would say. I only bought this in the N3 color. I almost bought it in a second color, but I put it back before I got to the cashier when I was at the store because I just thought the other color I had in my hand was too light. I think the N3 is the right shade for me. This one looked great after all of my makeup was on. It has a little bit of a glow to it, which is hard to see while I'm wearing the baseball cap. Later in the day, it still looked good. There wasn't really any caking. So this one for me is a winner. Up next is the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation in the color 217 Beige. Many women have said that finding the right color of this foundation is a challenge and I agree. I compared this Revlon Foundations colors to other brands foundations in the store and colors that I already use in those other brands and I brought them all over to a window to get the best match possible just comparing bottle to bottle. I settled on two colors, number 109 and 217. Here is the other odd thing. The bottles themselves only have the color numbers on them. They don't have color names. On the Ulta website, that only lists the color names. And on the Revlon website, they list the color number and the color name. But once that foundation bottle's in your hand, you only have the color number to go by. I quickly realized that the number 109, which is light ivory, was too light for me. Number 217 seems about right. This is the one foundation I suggest you buy two or three colors of, take them home, or order them online, and test them all. And then return whichever don't work out for your coloring. The Revlon foundation applied nicely with the Beauty Blender and buffing it out with a stipple brush. It truly has a nice luminescence with that bit of glow. This one, I'm happy to report, didn't cake up on the usual places on my face. So this one is a winner. A foundation that so many mature YouTubers love is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I already had this, but I didn't reach for it often. So I thought it would be a good time to try it out again for this video. I have it in the color 15 Rose Ivory. It goes on nicely and takes both the Beauty Blender and the stipple brush well. It does result in a nice subtle glow on the skin. Now this is the foundation I'm wearing today in this video. I checked it a short time ago in a close-up mirror, magnification, with my aging eyes of course near a window and it is caking up a bit in the pores on either side of my nose but it still looks good on my forehead. Hmm. Since this color doesn't pull yellow though, I think it would be difficult for anyone else looking at me to see the product in the pores when looking straight at me, even being kind of close or standing a few feet away, but I can see it in the close-up mirror. So this one for me is okay. I was going to test the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation and I had a bottle of it already. But you know what? It's scented, and I just can't do scented. My favorites from this group I tested for the video are the L'Oreal True Match and the Revlon Illuminance for full coverage, and the Ulta Complexion Crush for a medium coverage foundation. All for mature skin, of course. Make sure to tell me in the comments below what your favorite foundations are, Check out these six foundations plus what else I'm wearing in the description box. And then check out one of my other videos by tapping its image on the right side of the screen. And I'll see you in the next video.